Honestly. Yeah, absolutely. Coach Voith and now joining us here for South Central Calhoun. And Coach, I don't know why in all these years you haven't learned that you need to go before the girls because they get the headphones all sweaty for you. Well, uh, maybe my <laughs> mom and dad are listening and they always said ladies first. So Yes, okay. very much. Absolutely. So, a great win for your program and for this team tonight. A lot of expectations, ranked seventh in the preseason. A lot of players back. Uh, you guys tweak some of the things with uh, Ashley having graduated. How did you feel like your team played tonight? Um, I, I kind of have to agree with Hannah. I thought most of the night I thought we played really well. We did not finish um, that last game well at all. Uh, I don't know why we're going to have to work on that one because that's a recurring theme for us. But we did, this was a little different. We did pull it out at the end when um, it was looking kind of rough. But um, overall, I thought considering um, we're running a 6-2, which we haven't done in probably 10 years, and that's coming along quite well. And we've totally revamped our defense from what we've ever done before. Um, and there's an occasional moment when we're not in the right spot or we get, you know, in, in positions we shouldn't be in and do things that I don't like. But overall, I, I, I'm really happy with what we did. A momentum can turn in a second in volleyball, but how important was it to come out maybe play really well that first game and get the lead here tonight in Jailer? Yeah, the, the first match of the season, you you got to come out of the blocks um, right away. And I thought you know, we talked about um, before the match, we like to be really aggressive, as aggressive as we possibly can. But sometimes the first match of the year, you can be a little too aggressive and make a lot of you know, unforced errors. So we talked a lot about we're not going to do that in the first game tonight because everybody was going to be a little jittery. And I thought we did a great job. I, I, we hardly had any errors in the first game. Um, so I thought coming out of the gates was, was really good for us. What happened there in that second? Was it Ridgeview just kind of settling in and playing a little better early before your girl seemed to kind of kick it back in? I think it's that momentum thing. Uh, they, I think they served a little more aggressively in the second mm -hmm. in the second game, and I thought we didn't pass quite as well. Um, I think they stepped it up a little bit and maybe put that little scare into us that they were going to come and play the second game. But uh, it was nice to see that we turned that around there after a while. You guys have always been known for aggressive serving. Uh, did you feel like you guys served the way you wanted to tonight? Um, we're, there's another tweak that we've made. We're trying to serve a little higher per percentage. Uh, which I thought we did a really good job there, but we were not nearly aggressive enough, no. Um, and clearly we're going to work on that. You know, it's kind of a double-edged sword. You want to go out as aggressive as you can, but you know, you can't miss all those serves like sometimes we did last year. But I thought today we, we hit them a little too easy and gave them some easy passes. So I'd like to serve a little more aggressively. You guys rallied back in that sack at one, took the lead 17-16, and you go on to the 25-20 victory. There wasn't, I can't remember if it was game one, I think it was game two. There was a question. You guys ended up losing the point, went down 11-7 at that point. What was the discussion at the scorer's table? We were all kind of confused except for the scores table. They um, they thought Kylie Hepp should still be serving, but um, we thought we'd already lost a, a point and we rotated our next server back and they thought that we should still have her serving. And I, honest to God, I have no idea who was right, but all of us thought we'd already lost a point, but maybe we didn't, I don't know. Uh, coach, you come back that third game, you use that momentum from late game number two, take the early lead in game three, and then it all slips away. What did you tell the girls there in that late timeout that, that they came out, looked like kind of refocused and with a little more energy and got more aggressive instead of tipping and pushing? It, it was really kind of a, um, a nice huddle because I didn't have to say a lot. Uh, by the time I got them over there, uh, I don't know what I said at the beginning, but they knew I wasn't very happy. And I think I said, just pass the ball to the setter. And, and I asked who wanted to kill the ball. You know, at that point in time, I, I thought our hitters were getting a little shaky and a little nervous. And so I asked who wanted to kill the ball. And the good answer was all three of them in the front row said me. So I said uh, to the setter, I said, you set the easy play. You know, don't do anything crazy. Set the easy easy set that you have and let's put it away. And I, I think they came out a little more confident after that. Coach, how gutsy is it to call a, a little floater just over the net for a game winner? <laughs> uh, she's been working on it in practice. And in fact, she kept looking at me tonight, so I would give her that call. But um, I, I don't know. I thought I, if I didn't think she'd make it, I wouldn't have called it. But at that point in time, I was looking for any way to finish that game, and I thought that was going to be a good opportunity. And she, and she pulled it off perfectly. It was awesome. Well, Wade, congratulations. Great win here tonight. You guys start 1-0. Got Pokey coming up at home on Thursday night. Yeah, that'll be that'll be an interesting match because they're now with um, playing with some Lorenz players too. So, you know, we're not sure what we're going to see with them, but it'll be fun. I'm ready to start the conference. Well, Wade, we appreciate you joining us here tonight. Congratulations. All right, thanks a lot. You bet. Head coach.